Welcome to Chemistry Shortcuts 1780. Here is a video for IIT JE Boards. Video number 290. Trick to know and calculate para, dia, ferromagnetism in substances. Number 1. To know if the sum of jets, that is atomic numbers, is even, then the substance is diamagnetic where the, all the electrons are paired. If the sum of jets is odd, then the substance is para where the substance contains at least one unpaired electron. Example, N2O, nitrous oxide, total electrons are 22, it is even number, therefore it is diamagnetic in nature. Potassium superoxide, KO2, total electrons are 33, it is odd number, implies it is paramagnetic substance, exception. B2, 10 electrons, O2, 16 electrons, S2, 32 electrons. Total electrons are even, but it is paramagnetic. The reason is, there are two unpaired electrons in each one, that is n equal to 2, according to molecular orbital theory. Ferromagnetic substances, where the all the unpaired electrons are in same spin substances, are iron, cobalt, nickel, among these Iron is more ferromagnetic than cobalt. Cobalt is more ferromagnetic than nickel. Gadolium, chromium dioxide, barium, titanium trioxide. Second, to calculate. The spin only formula to calculate magnetism is mu is equal to square root n of n plus 2 Bm. Example, in O2, unpaired electrons is equal to 2. Mu is equal to square root 2 of 2 plus 2 of 2 plus 2 that is root 8 it lies in between root 4 and root 9 which have perfect squares that is its value lies in between 2 and 6, 3 that is 2.6 bm bm is unit of magnetism trick here if n is known mu can be calculated or if mu is known n, n can be calculated without solving or substituting in the given formula that is if there are n unpaired electrons, magnetic moment of mu is equal to n point x. x ranges from 1 to 9. For example, if n equal to 1, then magnetic moment means 1.5. Or if magnetic moment means 1.5, number of electro unpaired electrons 1. If n equal to 2, magnetic moment means 2.6 and vice versa. If n equal to 3, magnetic moment means 3.6, vice versa. Like this you can easily Solve the problem.